Hey gang, Chris here. I came across something pretty phenomenal today that I wanted to share with you. Some of you may already be aware of it, but I expect a lot of you aren't unless you're trying to use uh, some sort of LLM for Code Assist. Uh, what I'm going to talk with you today about is something called Klein. It used to be called uh, Claude Dev, uh, and some news came out around three or four days ago around the update uh, to, to Claude Dev, now called Klein. Uh, basically, the main update was that it enables you to use large language models other than Claude um, inside your development environment. In this case, I'm using VS Code. So um, my historical uh, approach to working has been to you know go here to to Claude and work with with their really terrific experience. Uh, for example, here's an example I've shown you guys in the past. We can go over here and you can generate code, and if it's you know uh, certain kinds of code like this one, you can run it in the browser. Super cool, except there's still a lot of work back and forth as you you, know, you save your files, or you copy and paste your code out of the window into your development environment. Well, what I didn't know is that um, Claude Dev existed, now again called Klein, which is a combination of, of command line interface and, uh, and um, development environment. So, anyhow, um, what I learned is that there's a plugin for VS Code that you can add to bring uh, Claude or other models. In fact, I also learned in looking at these videos that it, it now supports not only Claude but also GPT, Llama, Mistral, other other ones. But you have to have an API. Okay, so it's a it's an a, an API based system. But what you do is you install it. It's got a great little installer. Which you can you can go to right here and just install it and it pops right up in VS Code, which I tend to like because VS Code is super fast when you're actually launching it, and and then you have the ability to you know hit Control Shift P and bring up commands if you want for client like this and you can focus it on a line of text, you can focus it on a certain view, or you can refer to files and then it walks you through a workflow where it says okay I need to access the file I want to make these changes, so I'm going to show you right now is I'm in the middle of a, a very minor ask that I made of it. Um, I have this little game here uh, I'm working on where this little guy has been playing too much video games. This is gamer art, so please forgive me. I've got some art that I generated from Mid Journey. There's really no art in it other than that. And the bubbles are all you know generated as circles and, and they're floating up, etc. But he's been sitting here a while and he's all of his intelligence is leaking out of his head in bubbles, okay? Um, but if I come in here and bubble click, it's a, it's a clicker game, you know, and if I it's, better, it's meant for mobile, so you can come here and click it with your thumbs if you're playing on a mobile interface. Anyway, you start building up the intelligence, and then you can buy auto clickers, and here's like a small book. And the idea is that once he reads a small book, you know, it'll, it'll fight the fact that he's losing all of his intelligence while playing all these video games or watching too many movies or whatever screen time or whatever you want. Anyhow, so um, it historically has been that he starts out like this. He's, you know, high intelligence, smartest, just what it says up here. And then it slowly drains as you read books. And the idea is you're supposed to click up enough to keep his intelligence up at the top. But that's not exactly what I want as game mechanic, and I'm trying to figure it out now. So I said, fine, um, Klein, which I connected to Claude. Okay, I have a Claude API account. I'm going to talk about that in other videos. Um, but actually, I have talked about it in the clean mail videos. But the idea is you can go into Claude, you know, I think you start out with $25 and then you use credits. It's a really cheap way to get Code Assist um, if you want to. It's API and you get an API key and you put the API key after you've installed Klein into VS Code. There's, there's steps out there. I won't necessarily go into it here because uh, I want this to be a fast video. But once it's there, you bring up the Klein chat window and you can give it what, what, what you want it to do. In this case, I said, you know, update the game so that the boy starts out with zero intelligence. <coughs> Now here's what here, this is where I was really delighted. All right, so this was only a one-step change, but it got access to it. It ran through. Wow, it actually told me how much it cost. It cost me eight cents, eight point six one cents right there. Dang, this is awesome. Okay, so it only made one line change in this particular thing, uh, which is a little dopey. I I you know could have made the change myself, but I'll show you a more more interesting change in just a minute. It figured out what was going. It says, hey, can I read the file? And it did it, and all it did was change the intelligence level from 100 to 0. So that's perfect. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and then it's like, hey, you want to save it? And I, I'm going to save it in just a minute, but once I save it, you don't get to see this. The cool part is that 
it's all built in. It's got an automatic diff right here for you. So whereas I have been historically working with Claude here and you know doing this, which has been wonderful, I can actually, by the way, I can use uh, Claude's interface here, uh, Artifacts, which is what it's called, on the mobile phone. And I can be coding on the mobile phone and trying things out. Uh, so there's still a really lovely workflow there if, you, if you're trying to get something done on the go. But it also is nice that it comes right here to your, your local computer and it's working right in your, your code editor so that you can you can be more efficient. And so anyway, that's the cool part is it's got the, the diff tool that's built in. This diff tool is built into VS Code. Okay, so this is not what, what Claude's bringing or, or Klein is bringing. But it uses the diff tool so that you can quickly see the changes and then you can accept them, which is like right there. So that's all the changes. It actually spits it all out. I'm going to hit save. And then it's going to do some other things. It's actually going to go, hey, can I go check it out and make sure it's right? It actually goes to a really lovely work workflow just to be sure that everything is saved accordingly. It even wants to launch it. I'm not going to have it do that for this demo. But let me show you a more interesting change that I had it make earlier. This is uh, GitHub, uh, the diff tool in GitHub uh, desktop. So I said, hey, uh, what I really want is when I started out making the clicker game earlier, it just said generator. So if you clicked, click the big circle long enough, it would allow you by generator to automatically click for you, kind of like Cookie Clicker if you've heard of that game or others. Nothing new there. But as I changed the mechanic and I started to realize what I wanted to do, I said I want to use you know labels for like if the if the kid has a small book, he can save some intelligence or he can grow his intelligence and fight this brain drain. Oh, that might be the name of the game. Um, playing outside, math practice, playing sports, big books. I had put all these into uh, a, a dev, uh, which is the HTML section, if you're familiar. You know, uh, but what happens is, even though I did that, the labels were still showing up as, uh, you know, power, generate, is showing up as generate, and then a power number. And this is the actual string of text that was doing it. So then what I did was I told Klein, and it, to be specific, I, co I told Claude, through the client interface. Actually, I would like you to, to update this to use the labels that I have in the pop-out menu div. I want you to add those labels into my generator's constant, and then I want you to update this line of text to actually use the right labels. It did it in one shot, and before I accepted it, like I did with you guys just a minute ago where I hit the accept button, it showed me in the div tool. So I didn't have to go jump into um, the online Claude interface, it's the same back-end model, to be clear. It's using Claude 3.5 here, you know, 3.5 Sonnet, which is killer. Uh, but instead of using this interface, which also takes, you know, credits out of my, the initial money that I put in, it's using it through right through my browser. It literally took me five minutes, that was it, to go online, find Klein, which is here, do a, do a, um, and actually you don't even actually have to do a GitHub install. You can just go, uh, Klein has, download it right on the VS Code Marketplace. Okay, so you can go right into the, the Visual Studio Marketplace, install it, it pops right into here as I said earlier. You do the install, you add your API key, uh, and then the only, sh the only challenging part is remember to hit Control Shift P and then type in Klein to get whatever it is you want because there's different workflows that you may want. You might want to just update a, one sentence, which you can do. So check this out. Let's say if I wanted to go into um, this section here and Control Shift P and I say Klein, you can either focus on the view, but you can also start an editor with current line, right in line, just like you can do. Uh, if you're if you're doing like in painting with an image, or if you come over here to uh, the Claude interface, you can also now select like that, and it'll say improve, and you can tell it what you want to do. So this kind of stuff is evolving, and if if you're still working, say with ChatGPT, where you're copying pasting code out of ChatGPT into your editor, or if you happen to be in Clyde, excuse me, Claude with your uh, with their um, artifacts interface, that's totally cool. But if you happen to be using VS Code, you can come right in here and, and with just a little bit of work, you can integrate access to Klein right inside of your IDE. By the way, GitHub also has one called GitHub, GitHub, Co, GitHub Copilot. I can't talk. And when you install that one, it'll pop up over here, same kind of thing, and you can bring up a chat window just like I have with, with Klein. So I'm just hit that one. You can see that one as well. I'm not going to talk too much about Copilot chat. It is here, same kind of stuff. 
<coughs> honestly, it's not yet as powerful as Climb. Like it did not do this. It did not do this um, inline stuff, or didn't use the diffs when I first tried it, which was honestly last week. So, uh, but this is also a plugin you can install. It's GitHub Copilot. I can't quite tell honestly if it's from Microsoft or from GitHub or what, because Microsoft also has Copilot. But I think GitHub owns it, and then they let you attach to some sort of free uh, API on the back end, and it runs their LLM. So same kind of thing. But you now have the ability in VS Code to run at least two different large language model chat interfaces. I may play more with Copilot to see if it can do this inline bit, because it you know it does have some stuff up here. So if I type in Copilot, try that again. Control Shift P. Copilot. Yeah, you can see all the all the stuff it has. Add file chat, collect diagnostics, explain, fix, generate docs. It does some other stuff too. I don't quite know whether or not you can go quite in line, but there is this inline chat right here, so maybe. Anyway, I was delighted because I didn't know that um, Klein existed. Now I do, and I thought I'd share that stuff with you guys. Let's see whether or not my my fix actually worked. I'm going to flip over to my little bubble game. I'm going to refresh it and see. He should start out, instead of at the max intelligence, at zero. Bang. Hey, what well, do you know? It works. Cool. So then I go in here and click my little bubbles and try to get it increased enough to where I can get enough points. I got four. I get up to 30. I can buy a little small book, and then he's, he's sort of self-serving his own growth. Okay, guys, that's it. Hey, thanks for looking at my little video. Love to hear comments from you. I really encourage you to try out Klein. It's a super cool little plugin. It's all free. You do have to have an API, and again... Those APIs can be uh, a bunch of different kinds, but even if you're paying for an API, uh, I think it's a real win to have it built right into the editor. Again, it's called Klein. Okay, thanks, bye.